this ornament who was accidentally thrown out with the tree. Now his friends are helping him to get home. His friends are Construction Carl, Sir Edwards Postel, Dive Bomb Debbie, and Mrs. Muck Positive. They've had many adventures, and now they've parachuted into the big city. Here they will find a wizard who can use Sir Edward's magic to send Philippe home to his boy Dylan. Dive Bomb Debbie's parachute slowly lowers them to the street, where they have to be careful not to get stepped on by giant people or run over by the metal monsters called cars. They let go of the parachute and the wind immediately whisks it away. No! Dive Bomb cries, but it's too late. Her parachute is gone. Now Debbie's a dive bomber without a parachute. Mrs. McPositive is a candy dispenser without candy. Carl is a construction worker with only one arm. And then there's Philippe. Philippe wants to be the most special ornament on the tree, but that's getting tougher and tougher. A metal dragon nicked his coat, and a swirling vortex washed the paint off his boots, and a hailstorm left his red hat all splotchy. How can he be special after that? At least I've still got my beautiful silver face, he assures himself. Don't worry, Mrs. McPositive adds. The wizard will make everything all right for each of us. And where are we going to find this wizard? Debbie asks. Well, I'm a wizard, a silky female voice says from above them. They face a giant spider staring down at them with eight red eyes. I am Madame Zong, she says. And I can make all of your dreams come true. You just have to follow me. Madame Zom leads them into an underground cavern. The cavern is covered in beautiful shiny wrapping paper, just like a Christmas present. And it's all lit by Christmas lights. Spanning the cave from floor to ceiling and from wall to wall is a giant spider's web. And hanging in the web is candy for Mrs. McPositive and an arm for Carl and a parachute for Dive Bomb. These are the best presents ever. But something isn't right here. <coughs> Philippe watches his friends rush forward and a moment later, they are trapped in Madame Zom's sticky web. Playtime, the giant spider says, and out crawl hundreds of baby spiders. They start trying to pull Carl apart. My arm, he shouts. They're trying to take my one good arm. Philippe has to help him, but if he does, his beautiful silver face might get scratched. What is he to do? Leave him alone, Philippe says, stepping forward and holding a broken Christmas light bulb as if it were a sword. Philippe uses it to quickly cut his friends free of Madame Zom's web. Run, Sir Edward says. They all do. Philippe is the last in line. He carries what looks like a Santa sack over his shoulder as Madame Zom's army of baby spiders chase after them. The baby spiders nip at their heels and grasp with their hairy legs and squirt little bits of webbing. They want Philippe most of all. Dive Bomb Debbie Karate chops spiders out of her way, and Construction Carl knocks them aside with his pickaxe. Three spiders jump onto Philippe, and their little mandibles scratch his cheeks. Not the face, he cries, knocking them aside. They make it out of Madame Zom's lair, and together Carl, Debbie, and Philippe roll a boulder onto the hole to cover it up. They are safe. Whew. Philippe says, 
That was a close one. And now, as if it's Christmas, Philippe opens the Santa sack and in it are surprises for all of his friends. I have a new parachute for Debbie, Philippe says. And for Mrs. McPositive, I have candy. And for Carl, a new arm. Madame Zom had everything she promised, Philippe says. She just never intended to share any of it with us. All of Philippe's friends are very happy with their gifts until Carl realizes. But what about your wizard? You still need him to get home. When things are looking down, you can always look up, says Mrs. McPositive. So Philippe does, and he sees a sad little boy staring down at them. The boy takes Philippe into his hand. I'm really in trouble, the boy says. I'm lost, and I need my parents' phone number so they can come get me. But I dropped the phone number down there. The boy points at a sewer grate. Deep beyond the sewer grate, Philippe sees a piece of paper with strange markings on it. Phone number, Philippe asks. I'm not sure what that is. A phone number is a type of spell, Sir Edward says excitedly. You've found your wizard. Philippe realizes that before the wizard can help Philippe, Philippe must first help the wizard. Philippe stares into the sewer grate. The piece of paper with the magic spell is there, but it's surrounded by an army of vicious rats. Philippe is to get home. He knows that into the sewer he must go. Dun dun dun!